What's up guys? So today I want to cover uh, a video that shows the gameplay that we saw at the Charlotte Roval, but also uh, has a side-by-side -side with a real race from 2019. The uh, video is created by Tom Lahaki SVK. Uh, go to his channel, give him a like, let him know I sent you. I will put a link uh, to this video in the description box. Um, so without further ado, let's, I want to show you guys a couple of things, but first and foremost, I want to show you, uh, how accurate the game really is. Now, there are some things to criticize, of course, as I, as I mentioned before, but I feel better watching this side by side than I did with the initial, uh, gameplay which I was impressed with, to be honest, but I did have some reservations about the AI. But here we're going to see uh, the AI in real life. And it's a reminder that what we saw in that gameplay is actually pretty accurate. It's not a one-to-one -one perfect representation, but it's pretty close. So let's take a look. Now, you could see already that this wasn't like a restart or the first lap. The cars are already kind of spread out, so this might have been a couple of laps into a run. The cars are starting to spread out, and that's kind of what we're seeing with both videos. Now, you can see... Uh, Hamlin's car is squirrely. I really like that. Uh, I like even the AI. You could see them kind of, they're not like on solid footing, which is what you want to see, right? It's a little bit more realistic. But as people have pointed out, uh, there is a little bit too much bounciness to some, some of the AI sometimes and some unnatural movement. So the good news is that stuff can be fixed. All right, that's totally fixable. I'm sure they can tweak that. It's not a game-breaking issue. As you can see right there, yeah. That doesn't look bad to me. It's right here. You saw that? There's that unnatural bounce. I'm going to show you one quick time again. There's an unnatural bounce to, to Hamlin's car as he enters the next apex. Right there. It's a little bit overdone. It could be uh, wheel hop, but it, I, I don't know if, if it's wheel hop. Or if, if it is meant to be, they need to dial it down just a little bit. That stuff is easily fixable, so I'm, I wouldn't be too worried about that. The other thing I want to show you is pay attention to the real-life AI, and then I'll show you. Yeah, you can see up here. They kind of hit that curve right there a little more aggressively than the AI does, as you can see here. But, all things considered, look at the AI and the real-life uh, racers. They're running the same line. Now here you saw Hamlin, he's getting he's really squirrely. I really like it. A little unnatural bounce there but it's I, I don't it looks good because it looks to me like Hamlin has an ill handling race car maybe it's loose I don't know but he's having problems in the in and out of the exit of the corner uh it looks good I like that but there are moments like people have said there's an unnatural bounce that you'll see sometimes with the AI easily fixable stuff but as you could see in both places real life and the game they're evenly spread out and they're running the same line why road road courses are not like oval on oval tracks you don't always have one line that's the fastest it really depends on your setup and how your car is handling sometimes running the bottom is the quickest sometimes running the middle sometimes running the top near the wall it depends on the setup. It depends on the handling of the car. It depends on tire wear. 
So getting around an oval, you do expect to see more uh, side-by-side -side stuff and a lot more different cars running different lines. In a road course, once they spread out, they're all going to run the same line. Why? Because this is the quickest line around the track. doesn't matter how your car is handling. That's the quickest way around. So if you try to run a different line, you're going to be slower. You're going to lose positions. So you can see how similar both the gameplay and the real life footage is. Now here's the one other thing when it comes to a missing detail. You could see here in real life, there are the markers for the break points and in the game, it's missing. So it could be that this is early an early build of the game before they put this in, or it could be an oversight, something they're working on. Maybe they're already working on making sure it's in the game. We don't know, but this is a detail that is easy to fix. Again, think about everything we've seen and the things that we're complaining about with this particular gameplay are pretty nitpicky and small. That is a good thing. It's good that we're not pointing out major problems. If this is what we, we, we're down to, where we, we're criticizing the real small details, that's a good thing. For a first game, I'm pretty uh, ecstatic about what I see here. Now, we don't know how this game is going to respond to AI at other tracks under, uh, you know, tighter packs. I don't know. All I can talk about is what we see here. This is what they gave us, one lap around the Roval, and the cars are already spread out. So they're going to run in formation. And that's why I'm glad that uh, somebody was able to do a side-by-side. -side. And sometimes you need a reminder of what the reality is compared to the game. And I think if you look at this, I can't understand anybody who would walk away from this disappointed. The game looks fantastic. The, and honestly, the AI's running the proper lines. Yes, they're in formation. That's a road course. There's one quick way around a road course, and everybody's trying to hit that mark. So the only time you don't hit that mark and you try something different is to get around somebody you caught. Everybody here is spaced out, and that's what you get. In both AI is responding exact, almost exactly the same. You can see it looks so so simple. If somebody was to say to me before I ever saw anything about this game and said to me, look, I'm making a game. Here is some real life footage. We want to try to emulate this as much as possible. How do you feel about that? I would say, if you can make that happen, sign me up. Not only did they make it happen, it looks better. I mean, this is cam footage from from the car it's wi-fi um this isn't going to give you 4k that type of you know thing but the game looks fantastic you know they could kind of cut back on the color saturation just a touch and it would look even more realistic but i'm not complaining this looks phenomenal and when you look at the ai they're both behaving they're this close to each other. They're running the lines they're supposed to run. And yes, I like the squirreliness of the Hamlet's car. This, right there, there's that unnatural bounce. They can tweak that. That's fixable. Um, so I just wanted to take a second look at this and maybe 
show you guys a side by side because this actually got me even more excited that wow they I, they managed to do an even better job than i thought again this is only one lap at the rover this doesn't mean the ai is great everywhere else there's still a lot left we don't know but just judging this you look at the real life footage I don't I'm I'm I, I'm I'm ecstatic so I'm curious to know what you guys think does this actually uh, improve your your view of what we of what you saw or are you still uh, pessimistic about it I don't know I look forward to your comments please go to uh, his channel I will provide a link in the description box go give him a thumbs up and let them know I sent you. I really appreciate anytime somebody gives me permission to use their content. He put the work into it. He deserves a thumbs up and he deserves a mention. So uh, do me that favor, please. Uh, I would appreciate it. So I look forward to your comments later.